Welcome to the bookmobile. May I help you find something? You sure can. I'm looking for a book on dieting. That section over there. Heavens, it must be so fascinating to be a police officer. Oh, <laughs> the tales I could tell. Although I've been accused of taking too many bites out of crime. <laughs> you should write a book on all your experiences. I believe every person has a story to tell. <laughs> well, this ought to do. Although I don't have a library card. You don't need one. I just have to scan you. Give me your hand. Say, that's some pretty high-tech stuff. Oh, how nice. Let's see. Looks like our next stop will be Pleasantville. I guess being a werewolf has some advantages. You know, I'm faster, I'm stronger, blah, blah, blah. But it also caused me some problems regular kids don't have to deal with. All right, give me the flea collar. Yeah, I knew you'd come around. Look, I, I can't believe this, man. I was itching all during trig. Well, luckily, you're a football player. People expect you to scratch yourself. Uh, I think you'll like this one. It has a delightful winter green scent. Way to accessorize, Tommy. <laughs> I can't take this anymore, man. Look, I don't care what you do or how you do it, but find me a cure. Do this, Merton. Do that, Merton. Where's the love? about coming with me to the bookmobile? It's a bookmobile, Dad. It can come to me. Chin up, Gilligan, little buddy. You're gonna get off that island someday. Dean, it wouldn't kill you to read a book. Yeah, well, that's a chance I'm not willing to take. Dad, no, come on. Son? Dad, not the remote. Son? Daddy! Sorry. Daddy, but... Daddy, no! No! Why me? <laughs> hey, lady, can I get the six fudge curls, three rocket pops, and an Eskimo pie with the knife? Turn that off! This is a library. Shh. Hey, Trav, isn't it illegal to impersonate an ice cream truck? No, that bill made it through the assembly, but it got rocked in the Senate, broski. Yeah. Right. In that case, uh, I'll take a book on uh, bicep development. Oh, step aside, Tiny Tim. I'm afraid I'll need a book on advanced tricep development. Advanced. Advanced, yeah. I have just the book for you two. Lots of pictures. <laughs> Give me your palm. Indeed. Saturn's third moon full. Oberon full. Ganymede full. Io full. Banzai! Can you not talk to yourself so loud? I have friends coming over later. Ah, oh, I see. Hanging out after school with a few select pals. <laughs> I know how it is. Uh, no, you don't. 
Hey, these, these are all of me. Yeah, well, some of my friends don't know that you're my brother. I want to keep it that way. Huh, oh. oh, cute kid. <laughs> Welcome to Pleasantville. I'm Mayor Bob Dawkins. How do you find our fair town? Well, it could use a Starbucks. <laughs> but on the whole, it's been very quaint. You've got quite a collection of books here. I bet there's a couple I'd like to jump into right away. Well, let's get started. Go, oh, please. Me. What? What's up? I just spent the last three hours with my head buried in a physics textbook. I'm so stressed out. Well, you have just sat next to the right guys. I've got magic hands. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and give you a back rub. Mm, that's great. Oh, you have no idea how good that feels. Oh, yes, I did. Unfortunately, it felt a little too good. Well, what's the matter? Uh, you know who gives better back rubs? Olaf at the sports medicine clinic. You should look him up. Um, he fixed my Charlie horse. Later. Wait. I've got huge news. Not now, Martin. I'm about to transform. You gotta talk me down, please. Okay, okay. Uh, calming scenarios. Uh, how about Sunday in the park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, uh, uh, a soft breeze blows through the heather. Songbirds fill the air with their melodies. Oh, look yonder. The Henderson family's having a picnic. Son, eat your sandwich and we'll play wiffle ball. But, Father, I don't fancy egg salad. I much prefer tea and crumpets. I'd also like me okay, porridge. Merton. Porridge Merton, makes I'm good in my tummy. Merton, like Merton, Merton, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. Barely, but I'm back. I can't take being a werewolf anymore. That's what I came to get you for. I found a loophole. Your werewolf days are over. Hmm? There are 61 moons in the solar system. And once every 70 years, they're all full on the same day, creating a window of transference. And that day is tomorrow. Man, that's, that's so ironic. Actually, it's a coincidence. It would have been ironic if the window were yesterday. Uh, I can't believe it, man. I am actually going to be back to normal again. Now I'm going to be able to get together with Stacy. The old Tommy Dawkins is back, baby. Now remember, it's a window of transference. There's still the small matter of who you're going to transfer your werewolfism to. So I'd, like, just give it to somebody and that, that's it, they're it? Well, if you feel the need to reduce lycanthro-astronomical science to a game of werewolf tag, uh, that's your prerogative. I know who I'm going to give it to. Lenny Womack. I hate that guy. Yeah, I hate him too, but he's already something of a pyromaniac. You don't want to spawn a werewolf arsonist. So, who do I pick? Well, obviously, someone who's virtuous and wildly intelligent and handsome in a quirky, unconventional way. Brett Johnson! Yeah, class president. Letters in two sports. Eagle Scout? Eagle Scout, oh great. He'll be the only werewolf in North America who can identify edible berries on a nature walk. Hey, yeah, you know it would be a cool werewolf? Jackie Chan. He could do like this wolf foo on, on a village full of huh. warlords and a uh, <laughs> Yeah, you've only got about seven hours to swim to Hong Kong. Come on, who's the backup choice? Okay, Brett Johnson. What do I do? You bite his carotid artery. You got it. What? The neck? Hey, Brett. What's 
What's going on? Oh, I'm uh, just heading over to the shelter to feed the homeless. If you're interested, I got an extra ladle. <sighs> I can't do it. Say, Tom, the next time you feel that special way about a fellow, you should really take the time to find out if that fellow feels the same way. No, 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 no. It's, it's not what you think. You don't, I... shh, you don't have to explain anything to me, Tom. This is really a discussion you should have with your clergyman or a licensed counselor. Do you have a book on teen psychology? What's the problem? Eating disorder, peer pressure, Dawson's Creek withdrawal. No. There's this guy at school, and he can be really sweet, but he's so weird. Men, I have just the book for you, sweetie. But first, I'm going to have to scan your pretty palm. Bean, have you seen your father this afternoon? Not unless he was on Hogan's Heroes. So odd. I was supposed to interview him about the bookmobile, and he just kept me waiting and waiting. Yeah, tell me about it, Mom. I can't watch Power Rangers till the stupid State of the Union address is over. Oh, cool book. Is that Babylonia? Yes, but it's from my own private collection. You can't see it. Uh, the occult section is over there. Mm -hmm. I choked. I just couldn't give the curse to some unsuspecting guy. Oh, Tommy, the answer's right in front of you. The big book of wizards? No, Tommy. I was going to let you come to the conclusion on your own, but you didn't. I'd be the perfect werewolf, Tommy. Bite me. Bite me. Bite me. Shh. This is a library. You? Yeah. Mer, you're barely making it as a human. Okay. Just have to scan your palm. Huh? Huh? Pretty cool, huh? Not in my book. Let's take them off. <laughs> oh, let's not. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yes. No. Take them off. Come on. Oh, yes. No. Oh, yes. Lady. Take them off. Uh. You probably couldn't boil water with these spells anyway. Huh. Oh, weird look. Looks like Stacy, huh? All American cheerleader. Chop, chop, Tommy. We're running out of time to do the transfer. Then the window closes for another 70 years. Yeah, that's a big decision, Merton. You really think you're up to it? Think about it. I've been preparing for this my whole life. I've stayed up countless nights watching American Werewolf in London, American Werewolf in Paris. I even wrote a screenplay for American Werewolf in Leningrad, which, of course, is now St. Petersburg, but, but the story still works. Okay, Merton. I'll do it. What? I said I'll do it. I'll turn you into a werewolf. Oh, I'll get the rubbing alcohol. Garlic steaks and knives. No, it's just... Are, are you up to date on your rabies shots? Doesn't matter. Oh, sheep's brains, pig fetus, lunch, rubbing alcohol. Pleasant Bill News. Sally Dawkins. Oh, my mom, it. look. I've just been handed some missing persons bulletins. Huh? Searches are being conducted for the following people. Michael Couser, Tim and Travis Eckert, Paula Doherty, and Stacy Hansen. Stacy's missing? And on a lighter note, we bid a fond farewell to the bookmobile as it moves on down to Lumberton. Bookmobile? Just a reminder, don't forget to come on Tommy, what was the name of that book that reminds you of Stacy? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, All-American Cheerleader. Yeah. Why? Hang on. I thought, no such book in print. The librarian wanted to scan my palm, and she had those Babylonian texts. You know what the Babylonians invented, don't you? Oh, oh, I know that one. It was the airplane. Oh, no, that was uh, Orville and Wilbur Redenbacher. Paul, 
palmistry. They invented palm reading. They thought a person's life was captured in his palm. Get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. <sighs> the librarian is a palm-scanning human book absorptionist. Okay, that's not the Latin name for it, but she's turning people into books. And the bookmobile's leaving town. Yeah. I gotta go. Wait, wait, no, no, blame me. I'll take care of it. I'm sorry, little buddy, but I'm a little more experienced in that whole superhero stuff. What you're doing? Well, Merton does. But I understand most of it. Now turn these books back into people. Make me. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Tommy, the window closes in three minutes. Bite me and I'll take Grandma down. Oh, one moment, please. Oh. Maybe you should handle this one. Hey. Junior Lewis. Hey, I saw you, but... <laughs> we'll talk later. Give him a shot to the kidneys. Or you take it to face. I don't... Get in there! Go away! Dial change. <laughs> Listen, I'm about the werewolf. That's too late. Pluto's moon is no longer full. The window of transference is closed for another 70 years. I'm sorry. Dad, don't worry about it. You're a better werewolf than I could ever be. So, what do we do about turning all these books back into people? Books come alive when you read them. That's it. We have to read all these books. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've only read four books in my entire life. There's... There's got to be a thousand books here. Let's get started. Come on. I can't believe it. It says here in the last page of Stacy thinks I'm cute. This is one book I never want to put down. doing here well maybe you're lost on your way to miller's swimming hole where i understand you went skinny dipping last fourth of july what you've been spying on me 
Perv. Yeah, but I'm a cute perv. <laughs> Things are pretty much back to normal. Mm. For now. Since the bookmobile was such a hit, I've invited a rolling science fair to come to town. You just go into the van and do experiments. <laughs> Fun, huh? Mmm. <laughs> <coughs> And the librarian? If you're interested in learning more about her, I can recommend a book for you. It's called How to Run an Evil Bookmobile. But it's hard to find. As for transferring the power to someone else, I don't have to worry about that anytime soon. Tommy! Mark your calendar. 70 years from now, it's switcheroo time! Oh! <laughs> There was one nice thing to come out of all this. Even though I was a werewolf, I was still cool enough to start trends. <laughs>